happy Thursday. I decided to do a um, short haul video. I mean, it's not a big haul is why I'm saying it's a short haul. Small haul. I'll call it a small haul. I didn't do one this week. I didn't go do my major grocery shopping partly because of the holiday. But I did not throw out the receipt yet from Albert since I just got back uh, a little while ago. Um, so I have this Chef Boyardee, the Chef Boyardee ABCs and 123s, those were a dollar. They were on sale, so I saved 29 cents. Anyway, I won't get into all the prices and everything. Um, the, well, I guess, let me see here. These uh, refried now, refried black beans, yeah. I can't wait to try those. I always like to get the pull tabs, you know. But anyway, these La Castina. Uh, refried black beans. These were. Let me see here. Oh, they were two. Mm, mm, oh, they were only one fifty nine. Okay, that's cool. I thought they were more, but anyway. So I got the refried beans. The uh, New Mexico Tortilla Company. So uh, these were. Let me see here. I think these were like two dollars and nine cents. Let me see here. Uh, but, uh, yeah, two dollars and nine cents right there. Market and Amiolo corn tortillas. Okay. Okay. So I yeah, and I had okay. I had one of these already. It's Dr Pepper. They were two for four dollars. So I had one already. Um. Got a red onion. That was red onion was one dollar and thirty-three cents. I couldn't get the um, the spicy honey today. I was going to, but I just really wanted to watch my pennies. <laughs> I had to hold off on that probably until next week. Uh, this is uh, garlic. Okay, this is garlic. Cloves, and that was, let me see here, garlic was a dollar, bulk white garlic was a do Ugh, dollar, reading the wrong one, uh, 69 cents, it was only 69 cents for the garlic, and I got the russet potato, that was a dollar seven, okay, and I got, ooh, let me see, how much was the sparkling ice with caffeine? Yeah, of course the caffeine one is a little more expensive than the ones without caffeine. Um, $1.50 for these. These were 2 for $3. I didn't want to spend the extra money because I'm cheap. But these are sparkling ice caffeine. I think we have one of those now. They are so good. This is a blue raspberry. So, anyway... This weekend, I was going to go to uh, the rail yard, which is in Santa Fe, where the farmer's market is, but um, I would have to take a bus. Well, I guess I could use my Uber card, but it was just a little late, later in the evening. Maybe I don't think it started till like around 7, 7.30. I didn't want to come back in the dark. I could probably only stay, what, 45 minutes or so. <laughs> So, yeah, there, it was a Latin funk um, band. I forgot the name of it. I forgot the name of it. But anyway, so there's that. Uh, tomorrow, I don't think I'm going to it. Um, uh, there's two, there were two events, or there are two events in Santa Fe. Um, uh, well, there's one. It's out by my, where my parents live, and that kind of area just on the outskirts of Santa Fe, south of Santa Fe, at the place called the Santa Fe Brewery Company. Now you don't have to drink to go to the Santa Fe Brewery Company. It's going to be a um, art, it's going to have art vendors and art walk and uh, art activities and live music and uh, food. So uh, anyway, that was, I was originally planning on doing that because I thought maybe my parents could you know, uh, have, uh, give me transportation because it's near where they live. But I decided I just want to go, not necessarily for an opportunity to film, but to actually meet people now. 
Some of you may be familiar with a thing called Meetup online. It's uh, some of you probably know already. Meetup is where they have all you have all different kind of interests and activities, and I'm doing it so I can actually meet people here in Santa Fe. Now, my friends live uh, in different places, mostly in Chicago and some other places. Um, but yeah, I don't really have any friends here in Santa Fe. In Santa Fe now. Um, so, I mean, I've just pretty much done everything by myself for probably, ooh, well, I've, I've met some people, but COVID, you know, and other circumstances kind of changed that, but that's okay, because meetup is a really good way to meet people. I've done it before in Chicago a long time ago, oh gosh, like 15, ooh, over 15 years ago, probably. So anyway, there's that on Saturday. Now it's, uh. Yeah, it's kind of a funny name. I'm kind of embarrassed to, to say it, but it's called Kooks and Curious Minds. You know, it's people, kind of quirky people like me, I guess. I'm not trying to put them down. I'm just saying, good, good in a good way, quirky in a good way, the kind of artsy. They do writing groups and stuff like that, which I'm interested in. I want to meet people like that. I really want to meet people like that. They're, they're so cool to me. And it's called Kooks and Curious Minds, and it's... Um, at this place called the Travel Bug. Uh, it's a travel bookstore. Now, I don't think, or maybe I have filmed, like, outside of there, like, out in the... There's there's some other businesses, cool businesses around, like, there's a uh, DVD... There's actually a DVD rental place still in Santa Fe, and it's right near there, and I probably have filmed, like, outside of it before, because I just think that's, that's so cool. They have, still have a, a video rental store in uh, 2023. Uh, anyway, uh, so I don't think I have not filmed inside the travel bug now the last time I was probably inside as far as like to, Oh, there was an event there right before COVID. Yeah, I remember like really right like a week before it started All started um, There was a slideshow presentation from someone who had been to Italy and it was really really nice really nice and really neat to see and a lot of people, I mean, it was a big turnout. So people really come to these events. It was free. Um, so this event is a, is a talk, a, like, lec not lecture. Well, I don't know. It's these people talking, they're expats. They're Americans from Santa Fe, the art capital of the U.S., I guess. <laughs> That's what they say. Um, and they have moved to Oaxaca, Mexico, and they're going to talk about that. And just... Um, their way of life now and why they moved and um, just culture and differences and things like that and and, and their art uh, their interest in art I guess I, I can't wait I don't know exactly what uh, all they're gonna talk about but it's it sounds really neat and I can't wait to uh, go so I'm probably gonna have to like get myself there on uh, what is it oh Saturday tomorrow's Friday yeah to uh, Saturday I'm gonna take the bus up there it's kind of near downtown. It's not. A, it's not a long walking distance from downtown. Oh, these look so, so good. <laughs> Mini AV. Yeah. So that's what I'm gonna do Saturday. And I don't know that I'm doing anything tomorrow. I need to do so much housework because I've just been kind of slacking off on that for the last, um, the last week or so. <laughs> well, let's see. Fourth of July, I was busy. And if you haven't had a chance yet, I mean, it wasn't the best fireworks video. I, I can't say it's the best fireworks video, but I, it's, it was really hard because they're, they're, my parents are kind of outside of town a little bit, outside of Santa Fe, like south, and uh, in a development. And they were, they actually are more of a distance than I, I mean, they appear at more of a distance than I would have thought. Uh, and they aren't really that far from town. I don't know, a few miles. But, um, yeah, so th that video didn't turn out as great as I expected it to. I was trying, I, I was trying to get the sunset and then the fireworks, the fireworks actually went on, that was the start of them, and then they went on much, much longer, well, probably at least a half, an hour, 20 minutes to half an hour longer than that. Um, and then, to top it all off, after the good food, and I met some new people, my parents' neighbors came over to join us for food. And they, um, they're both, they're both artists. So, uh, he's from the East and she's from Portland 
and it was really neat to meet him. It was really, really neat, and I hope I get a chance to, uh, he was giving me some art pointers and things like that, so that was really neat. So I was glad to do that, and then the food was, was amazing and delicious, and I had tons of it, so... And I contributed by bringing some chips, and then I brought my own uh, sparkling water, uh, LaCroix sparkling water, and then my dad grilled burgers on the grill outside. And then to top it all off, uh, at night I saw the Big Dipper, and that was something, such a treat as a kid, to go out in the country somewhere, way, way away from Chicago, and see the constellations and see the Big Dipper. I think I did it sometimes when I was camping or something like that off in the country somewhere in the Midwest, but uh, to see that was always so neat to me and I loved it. I just absolutely loved seeing constellations like the Big Dipper, the Little Dipper. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that was my 4th of July. Oh, and the dinosaurs. That was something kind of, I mean, it was kind of silly uh, on a whim or whatever that I decided to go over there. Uh, I had seen those on Father's Day when we went out to eat over in that area. It's called Dinosaur Road. I mean, it really feels like, it just feels like almost like, well, not no man's land, but just kind of in the country, like country, country. Um, there's not much else around there, but there really, there's trails and then there's this one restaurant and there's some other stuff, but um, it's mostly like a residential development type thing. Anyway, I had seen these dinosaurs coming back from uh, uh, this, uh, fa the Father's Day lunch. And um, I see, I saw the dinosaurs from the from the other road, from a little bit of a distance, coming back from the Father's Day lunch. I asked my mom about it, and she said, "Oh, maybe we can go drive by it sometime." So I'm really happy that I got to do that. It's kind of silly, but they are huge. I I didn't realize how big these dinosaurs were. I don't know if they're like uh, some kind of public. I, I don't know what they are. The public art installation because they're on Dinosaur Road, and I didn't get the connection at first, but they actually actually are on Dinosaur Road. So, anyway, enough of me uh, dabbling. Um, just wanted to show you what I got. I think I'm going to have these and some tortillas for dinner. Uh, since this was not a big haul, I was glad to be able to show, um, show you my receipt and show you the prices. <laughs> I'm just going to throw out my receipt. So anyway, you guys all take care. I'll see you over the weekend. Um, and yeah, I'll see you either tomorrow or Saturday.